In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called writing an equation for a function after a vertical and horizontal translation. We're given the function f of x here in blue, which is defined as f of x equals negative one-half x squared, and we're told that g of x is a translation of f of x, both horizontally and vertically. So to find g of x, I'll look first at the horizontal translation, and I can see that f of x has been translated three units to the left. So that means inside our function, instead of x, we would have x plus three. The plus three inside the function will translate it three units to the left. And then for the vertical translation, I can see that it's been translated down two units. So outside of the f of x, I would subtract two. And from here, in my next step to find g of x, I'll take the f of x function, replace x with x plus three. So that will be negative one half. Instead of x squared, it'll be x plus three squared. And then we have the minus two outside of the parentheses. From here, I can simplify the negative one half can be multiplied, but first I should square the x plus three. So x plus three times x plus three. Again, bringing down the minus two. Here the x plus three times x plus three would be multiplied, giving me an x times x, or x squared. From the outer and inner, I would have plus three x and another plus three x, so a plus six x and then multiplying the last two terms, plus three times plus three, a plus nine. Continuing to simplify, I can now multiply the negative one half by distributing. So negative one half times x squared is negative one half x squared. Negative one half times six x would be minus three x. Negative one half times nine, a negative nine halves. And then to subtract the two, since I would want to get a common denominator, I'll say this is a minus four halves. This will then allow me to combine those last two terms. And our simplified g of x function will be negative one half x squared minus three x minus 13 halves. 